All right, so my specific Idaho case, and remember, you guys, we probably should have said this the first time we talked about it. For anybody new that's listening, um, we are covering the Idaho for at least once a week, digging into the details and the case and everything because it's one of the hottest cases out. So uh, what the Idaho for is, is is a criminology student that was going for his doctorate, Brian Koberger, is uh, charged with ending four people. Uh, that were ended way too soon um, and we're going through all this evidence piece by piece and kind of digging in from there uh, and we just went through the DNA details uh, that that get a clue found and I thought they were super good and opened up a good conversation around the DNA uh, that we don't know yet all of that is just theory stuff but it, it Minus that, you know, the the partial profile. Yeah, so. nothing was uh, theory in the documentation. <clears throat> yeah. But what we were talking on, you know, all the rest was. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so one of the things that we talked about a few weeks ago, and if you guys are brand new, welcome, super glad you're here. Make sure you check out all of our Idaho 4 videos, um, is we brought up the car, okay? And I think I might have been the one that was leading that case conversation too was the evidence around the car so we thought we would uh shake it up a bit and come at the car from a different angle right and uh there are a lot of people out there that are talking about you know they they don't have the car's computer data back they don't have this back from the car they don't have that back from the car and there is this major massive huge giant misconception around Brian Koberger's car. Um, and like I said, Brian Koberger is the, the suspect charged right now. Uh, so he drives a 2015 Hyundai Elantra. How many people are you hearing say that there's GPS in that car? A lot. A lot. Like a lot of people are saying that. I have no idea where they're getting their information from. None. When I go on Google and I Google it, there are tons and tons and tons and tons of websites and pages that come up and say that there's been GPS in Hyundai Elantra since 2010. Why that's on there, I have no idea. So immediately my thought is like, okay, well, let's check the source of the source. So I start looking through the websites and I see random websites that I've never heard of in my life before. And uh, cars would be all similar websites, either a manufacturer or a dealership or whatever. So I started looking specifically for Hyundai websites, right, to verify what is in the Hyundai Elantra model. And I was able to find a lot. I got information from Hyundai specifically. I got information from um, uh, one of the largest Hyundai dealers in the U.S. I got information pulled from um, a lawyer's website that deals specifically in cars. Uh, I got .gov website. We found collision website data, everything. So we'll start there. There's a couple things that we're going to talk through on this. So does the 2015 Hyundai Elantra have GPS? The answer is a definitive no. No maybes. You mean mean his specific model or version of it? No. All 2015 Hyundai Elantras do not have GPS. Definitive. That's not... 100%. That's not true because you can get the added package. That is not true. The added package is an aftermarket third-party package that can only be added to certain models. Definitively. I looked into this for hours and hours and hours. There is this one website out there that says, oh yeah, with the 2015 Hyundai Elantra, you can get it added with the premium package of reaching out to this third-party vendor and having it installed. That is not a stock item. That does not come from Hyundai. It is not stock. It is 100% aftermarket, and you can add aftermarket things in any vehicles, anything. 
to a 1980 Toyota right. Corolla. Right. Like, right. yeah. It does not come with it. It does not. No maybes, no premium. You can't go to a dealer and buy one with a GPS in it. You have to take it somewhere to get that put in, always. I mean, maybe a dealership would do it, but it's not Hyundai approved. It's not part of any package, which is what is in question here. Is Does it come stock? Definitive no. Very definitive no. It does not come stock in any way, shape, or form. Not even arguable or debatable. And I verified it on multiple sources. I went directly to Hyundai. I went directly to the NHSA.gov site that tracks and records every single vehicle that has a GPS chip in it. Global positioning chip in it. Okay, okay, so... When you say it definitively does not have a GPS in it, that includes any type of GPS chip, period. Like period. even the ones that are within the computer system of the car itself that records the telemetry data. And those don't have GPS they do not, on these. There is not a single GPS chip in a 2015 Hyundai Elantra, period. That's correct. At all. Yep. Unless you have it added later. That's correct. Okay. That is correct. So I don't know where people are getting this information from. Uh, I have no idea. People, I don't know. People pull it out of some, they say they go talk to experts. But the thing is, is that doesn't mean this person is like going and researching in this way. And then bringing the information to you. They might be just talking off the top of your head. Like, well, yeah, it's this year and it's like this type of car, like a smart car or something. I don't know. And, and Dude. The, I don't know. They just might be thinking, well, any car, any car after this year that is within these brands typically has a GPS chip in it. So. And, and that's just off the top of their head. You know I, what I mean? Y maybe, yeah. So I went looking then, okay? So what to ver to verify myself because I always come from any information from a place of doubt, right? Um, so then I wanted to find out when was the very first car, Hyundai Elantra, that has a GPS in it, right? GPS chip, GPS tracking, a computer monitor for GPS, whatever. And the very first one is the 2017 Hyundai Elantra. That was the first year that they made it available to add an eight inch touchscreen with navigation. Previous models had what is called uh, available Apple car or auto car whatever where you can plug your phone into the car and it uses your phone's gps chip on the car that's the only thing people could be getting confused with it but that's not gps that doesn't identify anything from the car that uses your phone <laughs> so um so we're two years off here two years off and hyundai didn't even have any cars except for um Genesis. So Hyundai owns Genesis, which is a high-end model. They were the only cars of that between 2010 and 2014 that had GPS in them. So, in other words, all the data would be on his phone if it's anywhere. If it's anywhere, it's on his phone. Correct. That is the only place. This car is 100% completely not possible. And look, the standard... So, and this is why I know it, you guys. So it, I landed my point earlier, but every single car that has a GPS in it has to be registered with the .gov site for the national whatever of security uh, information. And they have to give the map version of what GPS chip is in there for, for connection to the satellite service and everything. And I have a picture here, which you guys will see on the screen. Hyundai Elantras, the first time that it was in, was entered in here was 2017 to 2018 model standard gen 4 navigation it gives the sw version it gives the map version and the model name it does not they are not in any cars earlier than this so there is zero evidence that's going to be coming from brian koberger's car uh with gps yeah i don't even know why people well 
I don't know why I don't know where the telemetry thing honestly came from, except for Nancy Grace. Like well, I think Nancy Grace is the reason that's going around. Um, and she started comparing it to the Murdoch case. What? So this is Brian Koberger's car. Right. On the top. Right. This is a third party aftermarket GPS system. When he got pulled over, if that car had GPS in it, we would see this. Right. See how it doesn't fit? Yeah. Real well. They had to like cut it out. Yeah, this is custom made, not supported by a Hyundai. Essentially, by putting this in your car, you void your warranty. You're not allowed to put aftermarket stuff in cars if you want to hold true to your warranty here. Just to land it because I know people are going to be like that's not true. That's not true because of this. That's not true because of that. And it is 100% without a doubt true. And that model right there is Brian Koberger's. You couldn't even see GPS information on that little baby screen. The only thing you might no. be able to see on there is the time. You well, know what I mean? That's a black and white screen. Yeah. That yeah. There's no color to that whatsoever. No, it's, it's straight up black and white. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, I've had I've had that in a car before. I know what that I know what that exact type yep. of screen looks like to Absolutely. look at. Absolutely. Yeah. So that is proven. And if you guys don't agree with that, please leave a comment down below. Let me know why and how I can help show you that that's impossible. Yeah, not just an expert Needs to be taken told off me. The table. Not just an expert told me, but like government website may be stating the opposite. Yep. Because you just cited a government website. I just cited a government website. Okay, so. Yep. A dot yeah. gov. Yep. Right. And, uh, and it, they are required to report that information. Every GPS recorded. chip has to be recorded on here. Okay. So it is impossible. All right. So I feel like that has been explained. Not only can the GPS uh, video, which is required to run a GPS chip, you would be able to see it in Koberger's car. That's not possible. But there is no chip that's in there that is GPS connectable. If there's any locating information anywhere, it is on his cell phone. Yep. It would any be on his cell phone. Devices on his person. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I just have on here, this is proof that that aftermarket screen is not a Hyundai. This is aftermarket. C-U-S-P. It is not a Hyundai piece. Why do you say it like that? Why don't you just say Hyundai? Hyundai is how it is spelled. <laughs> so little, literal, even with grammar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> okay, you, so you just said it extra weird there, so it struck me. <laughs> it, inside the majority of 2016 and 2017 Hyundai models, it is an available in dash touchscreen navigation system that can be activated with the touch of a button or integrated voice technology like Blue Link. With this tech, all you need to do is tell your car the address of point of interest. It. What if you prefer the GPS offered by your smartphone? There's still a way to combine familiar familiarity with the convenience of an in-dash GPS, which is the car and Android, whatever, which his car didn't even have that. Didn't even have that. So now on the Hyundai websites, we have additional, how do you know if my car has built-in navigation? Not to be confused with Android Auto or Apple Car, which are not navigation GPS. So Android Auto and Apple Car are not GPS. They would not be able to locate it if a car has that. The built-in navigation system does not require the use of any mobile device. Two ways to confirm. Your car has one navigation, which is a GPS chip. Uh, look for a map hard key or go to the system's info page on your display screen. How do I check the current map version of my vehicle? It gives a link. Where can I order the updated uh, yada yada yada? Where was that one? Yeah, but I think from what people... Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. Um, how do I check if my car has GPS? That's in here somewhere. It is verifiable through mapsandsoft.com and it Asks you to verify the car. Or Hyundai.com, actually. 
or maps map in soft.com forward slash Hyundai. It, it is that link. So, but yeah, what were you saying? I, I think what, what I was hearing, um, is that essentially, even if it doesn't have a GPS screen and unit in it, that whatever that telemetry system is has some kind of computer chip in it that does locate the car and where it is. So we'll get into that. Okay. That black box is called, uh, an EDR, uh, EDR explained. CDR is the acronym for crash data retrieval. Crash data retrieval is a term used by those who use specialized equipment to retrieve the vehicle's EDR, event data recorder. This EDR data is also referred to as crash data. CDR technicians and experts connect their EDR tool to an automobile, allowing them to communicate with the vehicle and retrieve the EDR data file. Specialized software is then used to translate the EDR data file to a readable format for review and analysis. Crash data retrieval. Hang on. EDRs may may record information, but only, only after some physical event like a crash. Vehicle dynamics information and system status for about five seconds before a crash. Certain driver inputs for about five seconds before a crash. Vehicle crash severity signature. Restraint used and deployment related information. Post crash data such as the activation of automatic collision notification system. Yeah, but they used it in Murdaugh's case. Yes, because his car had a GPS. That is different. Yeah, but it recorded like his door being opened. Yeah, that's didn't, what it just said. It didn't only, re- did it? Yes, that's it what it said, said. It seemed to say only when there was a crash. No, it didn't. It said vehicle dynamics information and system status updates, driver inputs. Okay. Which means for before a crash. Okay. So it, it also tells you if someone's wearing a seatbelt and if uh, airbags deployed. Okay. Yeah. So... It tells you that, but it does not check your GPS location. That is not possible without being registered on this .gov site. Which I was shocked by. I didn't know this until I looked it up. Hmm. I had no idea. And what's interesting is I've been in a crash before, and the insurance person, which I now look back on and think they were trying to scare me like I was lying or something, was like, oh, yeah, we can get everything from that black box data don't even worry about it we can tell where you're at we can tell when you're there we can tell this we can tell that no obviously not obviously not so i thought it was interesting i mean unless your car has a gps then unless it has then you're screwed well (laughs) then it's not edr information it's gps location information well, There's only one GPS chip in a car I, connected to one computer. I understand that, but I, I had like telemetry was also used in the. Um, oh, we just talked about her case recently. It was the woman that was uh, the guy was running around the house yep. in her bike. Yeah, uh, what is her name? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, he went to the trash cans around yep. the city. They used telemetry data with him too. Yeah, GPS. That was his truck's GPS. His okay, truck so then had what GPS. is telemetry then? Because uh, everyone says it's the black box. I mean, I can look up what the definition of telemetry is, but that's just giving your location. Telemetry automatically collects, transmits, and measures data from remote sources. That's all it means, from remote sources. That means that uh, a car had a data connection, so GPS or service on it. So I'm just wondering, like, does the GPS only record when there's an event that makes the black black box record? No, 
You're, if you have GPS in your car, it's always recording your location. Okay, then there was no point in them going through all that stuff in that one in that case with the woman, the wife, where they're talking about when this door closed and opened and this and this and this and he was pointed this way. Or does that just make the GPS more accurate is what they're saying? You're probably, you- you're probably confusing grandstanding, trying to appear as an expert and confident in front of the jury. Because no. you would give an overabundance of they details. They didn't allow it in court. This was a like a documentary series where this expert was talking on how they do it. Uh, but now that I'm thinking back on it, I think what I just said is correct. So they have GPS, but the telemetry then gives them... Because GPS can't give you when somebody's door opened. I mean, or it when, can if it's all connected to the same computer. I think you're confusing that. If you have a smart car, there's no black box. Okay. There's, there's no point for that. I mean, you already have a full-blown computer, and they're connected to everything. Well, there is a point, isn't there? Because they, the acceleration, no. the deceleration. No, you have a computer that will record all that. There is no reason to have two separate sources. Isn't the black box a computer chip? Uh, I mean, a, a half aid one, like, I don't. If you have a smart car in it, why would you have a black box? Think about it. I mean, because that That's like specific saying, chip does the job of recording that data. Nope, the computer does. Okay. The car's computer is linked to the whole thing. That's like having an iPhone and saying, oh, you know what? Give me a 1992 flip phone. I want to carry both. Why? This does everything. Okay. There's no point. Telemetry, you were probably confusing telemetry with black box. Telemetry doesn't mean black box. Telemetry just means a data connection to a unit. Okay. We just read that. I didn't know that before, but now I do. No? That's not the impression I've gotten. But I don't know for sure. Because I don't, I just don't, I don't understand it, so. Yeah. But, so, I don't know why people keep talking about this car. I I feel like it's like a red herring. Yeah. In these situations, I really do. I mean, I think it was brought up because we've seen it used in other cases to where it's been such a big deal in other cases um, that... That like they, the car is a big thing in the Idaho Four and the Brian Koberger case. Like the fact that it was supposedly, allegedly driving around the home and he drove it to the murder scene, and there's no DNA in it. And then he left and he made that big loop, and they're looking for the murder weapon still. Yeah. Uh, you know, to have all that information of where he was, where he went, like all of those. I mean, don't you think? That if they had... This actually says telemetry is not black box. So whoever was trying to say telemetry is, it's not. This says that in order for it to be considered vehicle telemetry, it has to be able to send this information through data. And black boxes can't do that. Okay. So. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. Then it's, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Weird. Um, But... I think that that's just a big topic because that word has been used in many cases. And um, so what, what there, okay. So then telemetry wasn't the black box in Murdoch's case. It'll, it won't be the black box in any case. Telemetry cannot be about black box. It has to be a literal computer that's receiving and, and giving transmission data. Yep. Interesting. Wow. Yep. So it has to be a GPS or something like that. Literally it has, has to, be to be a GPS and a computer, something that has a data connection. That's what it says here. Like uh, understanding that vehicle telemetry is how it works and its main benefits in fleet management, uh, preserving life, reducing costs. And then it uses Tesla cars as an example and Formula One cars as an example. Hmm. So these are telemetry means in vehicle computer. Okay. Yep. Hmm. So, 
I, I had never heard the term telemetry. All I've heard is black box. Yeah, it was used in that case in uh, Colorado. Um, I heard it in the Murdoch case. Yeah. Well, Murdoch drove a Lincoln, so that makes sense. Didn't he drive a Lincoln? I don't know. I think he drove a, a Lincoln SUV. Or, I could be wrong here, but I think so. And that absolutely has probably had on onboard computer with GPS for at least a decade. Yeah. At least. Yeah, for sure. So um, I thought this was interest, interesting. And I mean, I, I learned a ton going through this because they have nothing on the car zero the only thing they're going to be able to get from the car is the pictures there is absolutely no data there is no way for them to hear some kind of audio there's no way for anything like that like literally pictures and his phone it is only going to be his phone yep that's it that is it and his phone was not connected to a tower so therefore off or on airplane mode, which yep. we just don't know with that yet. I didn't include a picture on here. You've probably seen it enough, but for people listening to the audio, uh, I'll put up a picture for everyone that shows Brian Koberger's head unit in his car. And it, it proves he does not have a computer on board. He does not have a GPS chip. He does not have uh, anything on there that could help in this investigation. Where are you going to post that? It's a dead that? end. I'm on the screen. Yeah, you said for audio listeners. So I didn't know if... I you... was just letting the audio n- listeners know what it was. Oh, okay. Yep. So, um, but yeah, I found it interesting. I'd love to know what you guys have questions-wise around it. But for me, this is solved. It's in the bag, dude. Yeah, I wish I could ask better questions. I just don't understand it. But I mean... Yeah, I think it is solved at yeah, this point. The fact done. that the fact that you pulled the sources you did, I mean, those seem like the most credible sources you could go to. NHTSA.gov, uh, which it, it has to be required. We got legal websites and Hyundai websites, so the, it's literally impossible. I don't know what kind of expert Nancy Wayne Gracie had on her show, but, like, <laughs> dude, what? You just said that very seriously? Said what? I don't know what kind of expert Nancy Wayne Gracie had on her show. Oh, uh, I've been saying it accidentally. I didn't even mean to. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know what kind of expert she had on her show, but he didn't sound like an expert to me. Yeah, he said some other things that were a bit odd that didn't sound very experty. but um, I don't know. Yeah, if you're an expert... Wouldn't you know the website to go to to verify this information? What benefit does it have to come on a show and be like, yeah, it's got GPS. It's got the whole ring of things all the way since 2010 model. Like, don't even worry about it. I don't know, especially because we haven't seen anything regarding telemetry or black box or anything in any court paperwork or documentation, period. We've only seen the car was seen on surveillance footage. That's it. Yeah, but at least we can put it to bed, like, Wait, done. I'm going to have to go look through all the search warrants. Is there, like, I wonder if there's, like, a search warrant anywhere that has to do with the car at all, and then that's how they, like, would find out. Like, because they wouldn't know for sure, right, unless they tried? Uh, they would be able to know just by looking at it. You could tell just by the head unit. Yeah, I know. You could tell. Has. You could tell right away. I but, think cops would probably know that, well, too. Well, people think, okay, so he doesn't have a GPS unit on his car where he can access that and get directions. That doesn't mean that there's not a GPS chip in the computer I mean, in his car that um, that records your location without you knowing that you can't access. It does mean that. But you think that people will think that? Well, that's literally what that guy said on Nancy Grace's oh, show. Oh, yeah, he's wrong. He's wrong. Yeah. That's not true. If your car has GPS, then it has a computer screen. He said that there is a GPS chip that can be in your car that you don't know about or have access to that can record your location. Sure, a tracker. And then he also said that that, uh, the GPS thing is always recording your location even if you're not using it. Oh, I mean, yeah, maybe if you're being tracked by the FBI. No, like if you have an... uh, I I said that separate. I get what you're saying. It's just not possible. Okay. Yeah. 
a GPS chip will not be put in a car without that computer in the dash. Yeah, but but separate from that, he also said yeah. if you do have a GPS, then it's always recording you no matter what. I mean, that's true. Yeah. 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 So. And he said, oh, absolutely, Koberger had a GPS in his car. Yeah. yeah. I don't know where he got his information from. But let us know, know what either. you think, guys. <laughs> We appreciate it. And I appreciate you diving into that because I really wanted to know personally because I thought I already knew from what we saw in the past. So, and I asked you because I was seeing all this conflicting information because I do not understand cars or anything like that. And so I'm glad that you brought it. Yeah. Case closed yep. on that one. For sure. But let us know what you think. <laughs>